All right, so I'm gonna hit record. All right, very good. Thanks everyone for jumping in. Today we have two days or one day, right? Until the submission, uh, not much time. So again, um, main focus is still the Kaggle submission, but there are many other people that jump into our Slack and already start asking questions. What is beyond Kaggle submission? Are we equipped and is this, is this our vision to help beyond? And I just want to, to say that collectively, I think we all agree that it's beyond the Kaggle and beyond any submissions. And our you know, goal in the, in the short term is obviously battle the, um, battle the uh, COVID-19 epidemic. But I think we have even even bigger ambitions and even bigger um, goals and exciting ideas to to fix and improve in the current world. I just realized that people didn't have a link to join. So I just sent that. Okay, so um, do you have a, a note taker, a volunteer that would like to help us today to identify actionable tasks, uh, mainly interrupt us and figure out if that's an actionable task and if there's a person uh, who can help with that task and summarizing the, um, all of these actionable tasks at the end of the call. Is there a volunteer today? Hyberson maybe? Hello, I can try. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I'll try, okay? Yeah. Sounds good. All right, so um, to start with, the again, the main focus is the first uh, Kaggle submission, April 16th. Uh, we're working on cross-team integrations. There are many, many pieces that will, um, will have to be pulled together. Uh, there is a, a discovery uh, kind of uncovering that we've produced within the risk tasks, uh, risk factor tasks uh, team, which is basically we're gonna have one notebook that will have the main findings, the findings, the main approach, the main methodology, kind of everything that we've been doing in the past two weeks, and just small code snippets, just general overview of how things were produced with links to specific Kaggle notebooks that are primarily focused on the actual code base and producing those results. The reason why is because um, I can imagine, and I'm already seeing the pattern of you know, many technical people that uh, produce the Kaggle notebooks being unable to efficiently integrate those notebooks into one. So it will be much faster to let them focus on their individual notebooks that produce results and then have um, us integrate those results and findings into one notebook that is um, easy to navigate and easy to prepare for submission. And also that gives us a way to basically um, decentralize the, the work on the submission too. Okay, so um, that's uh, one thing. The other thing is a quick, quick update on the geo team horizontal uh, integration. Um, there are many pieces flying around in, ter in terms of how to integrate these appendix items to each of the teams that GeoTeam produced and currently tries to integrate with the data visualization team. So I think that's a great piece. Um, not sure what's the you know, speed on those processes because there are many, many things flying around. So I would just encourage to pick one or two things to focus in terms of the geo team and data visualization so that we can have at least one uh, fully, fully baked, if it, even if it's you know, just for one team. Okay, so uh, the next item is coordinators progress or onboarding uh, versus team coordinators versus medical uh, community coordinators. Um, is there someone on a call who could give us an update? I'm not sure if Tyler was able to join us. Can I don't know. How are you doing? I'm just not under your name. I've, got, I've actually just logged into my account and I'm still under your name. <laughs> oh, never mind. Um, I've, I've finished my first draft of the org sheet, if you want to see it. 
Um, communicate uh, on, on I th did I bring that up yesterday? I'm sure I brought it up yesterday that we've decided on a, a week's trial on how to onboard everyone. Um, we're going to be just using the, the Slack channel and we're not going to be using just to try and keep it in one place. Um, communications, like I say, I've, I've, this is kind of communications, I suppose, some ways. I can show you, show you what I've got so far, so what you think. Black, I like, I like dark colors. Um, so I've also, I've done it like a flow chart of how things interact with each other and put. Your voice being cut off. All right, sorry. Um, I've, I've basically treated like a flow chart a little bit like you've done previously. Um, and basically the top left is where the information comes in and the cargo submission is kind of where it comes out right now. And I've put some notes on what like extra projects are going on on the side, um, what different teams are and which team, where, where they are on Slack. It's kind of a, I'm, I'm putting a case of like who's leading any teams or anything like that. Cause I probably want that as a separate sheet because that's something that might be um, changing over time and this is kind of more like a, a layout a current layout of how the organization works um, what was the other question medical community medical. Um, I have I've got a, I've got a message back I've not I've not finalized how I'm going to deal with this yet um, I've got yeah I've got something back from Marina I just need to work out what to do with it and who's who's going to be best to be involved because the treatments team has got a lot of medical people on it as far as I understand. So I definitely want them involved in, in one place. Um, but it's a case of, she suggested maybe Google Forms as a, or like, um, like a surveys or something where we reach out with like, you know, these are the questions we're thinking, you know, if we had these questions, what would you like to get from him or it's that sort of stuff. So I've not really done a lot on that in the last 24 hours. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Um, I've done some housekeeping and tidying, but other than that, I ain't done anything with the medical stuff. Yeah, I think for the medical part, this, the survey kind of Google form is a giveaway because they actually have some structure in mind and they can communicate it clearly and they just need some easy to use channel to do that not trello yeah. not slack or not you know some crazy tech um inventions that we can produce obviously yeah. for them so i don't think it i don't think it'd be bad to have um to better use the the experts channel that we've got but it's a case of what choices do we have for it because it's not a case of there's constant need for conversation and there it is a case and it's a case of making sure that the data guys are trying to answer the right questions. And I think that's the most important part of it. So yeah, I need to, I do need to get on with that. I've just been. Yeah. I think for technical people, for people on Slack, the Slack uh, channel of needs is perfect way. It's just conversational. Hey, I need help with this and this, and then you or someone else can jump in and clarify that further. And, you know, most often that will have to happen, unfortunately. But that's also a good process to, you know, optimize in terms of what questions we ask, like, or because I, I typically serve that function and I have a list of questions like, who do you think would help you in terms of skill sets? Like what specific keywords to look for? Or what, uh, what do you think is the measurable small commitment from the person, person, like a 30 minute involvement that could immediately help you with that task and stuff like that. But for a medical person, that's a completely different process. So yeah, I agree on that. Yeah. Okay, so the next piece, discussing human resources challenges and team needs progress. We kind of covered it right now. Communications, quick update, uh, podcast update. Um, we're working hard through formalizing the structure for first episode. Got most of the content done. So we'll be figuring out how to package it into the audio format. Um, we're also, we discussed yesterday on the communication call, how to create this post submission webinar structure. So someone, uh, I assume will create the Google doc and we'll start, uh, basically brain dumping all the ideas about the agenda of that webinar. And 
There is also a cool idea in terms of communications, which is more internal communications that me and Anton had yesterday. Um, more on a, on a topic of, you know, uh, reducing the stress and anxiety and all the things that we've accumulated in the past uh, couple of weeks and creating kind of the demo day for teams and everyone to jump into this giant 12 hour live stream of just hanging out and you know communicating on on things beyond the the Kaggle submissions which i think you tyler would be best positioned uh to kind of organize given your streamer experience yeah um yeah maybe i was actually i wouldn't mind but about about four or five days ago i was thinking that it is a way of like having some light-hearted fun playing playing some silly games and um uh and then I wouldn't mind, but I was literally listening to you on a talk, one of the videos this morning, and someone mentioned like him and his community played uh, Cards Against Humanity. And I'm like, I love Cards Against Humanity. I know the online, I've, I've played Cards Against Humanity in streamers and stuff, and it's just always entertaining, but it's, it's, it's a finite limit of how many people you can play with, but it's, it's only good for the people who are not easily offended. So it's not <laughs> yeah, exactly... I mean, Monopoly, it's not exactly, cash flow. It's not, by uh, whatever Robert uh, Kiyosaki or whatever, whatever works. Just like doing stupid stuff. We're so tired of doing, doing super complex stuff that we need to recharge with uh, just some, like someone DJing and putting on music and, and things like that. So yeah, let's, let's figure out how to establish that and detox from all the stress um, and schedule that for post uh, for submission. First submissions on sixteenth. Yep. Four days now. <laughs> Three days. Two days. Ish. <laughs> Two days. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> everything. It's everything moves so fast and so slow at the same time. Yep. All right. So let's jump into the team reporting. Uh, the I'll quickly remind the structure. Uh, high level progress. Quick summary of the tasks in progress. Time to results. Obviously the <laughs> the results of the first submission. Um, and the blockers, what do you need help with? Which I imagine a lot of people need help with right now. So we're gonna start with uh, Risk Factors team. Maya, go ahead. Hi, how are you? I see, you're, you're doing really good. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 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 we are applying the collecting final notebook. We are super stressed. And we are trying to make things done. And we really need um, a lot of um, annotator, uh, annotation people to help us at this moment. We, we like, this is our main blocker. And that's something that we really need urgent. Uh, and soon kind of posted it in the um, needs channel. But uh, yeah. Anson's done so, but I'm going to have to hunt for, because you specifically need the medical people, are you really? Or people who can read medical well. And that's, that's going to be a bit stickier than just anybody. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, like the only thing we really, really need is to put all the pieces together. It's a great idea to put code separately because it reduces so much headache. And... Uh, we, we simply need to somehow evaluate the quality of results because we kind of have code, kind of have output, but we don't have all the pieces gathered together. And we are working very hard to make that happen. A quick thing. Didn't we have a guy who onboarded eight medical students in our Slack? that were helping Savannah from the very uh, early days, which was ancient times in Corona Y. Uh, and of these guys on vaccine team? Uh, there is yeah, a group. V VT. Yeah, VT and treatments have got a group of people. Um, I think Andrea, um, Andrea and who else is one of them? Um, you're, you're referring to Iman and Iman's team, and yeah, we've been working with them, we being me and Christine, and they have an annotation task of annotating the study design type um, and a thousand papers. So they're currently working on that. Uh, they Can we steal like one or two? You should talk with, with Iman directly. Let's, let's figure that out. 
I think, and then someone else, Tyler, I remember somebody else was like, oh yeah, I have a few med students that are interested in helping out with annotations. I believe her name was Sarah, maybe? That, that's a true story. I can't, I, I can't remember where. I'd have to find it, but I do, that is like a, a familiar statement, but there's a right. lot of familiar statements. I read a lot of things on Slack. So she said she had access to like three annotators. And so this is why I think it would be a good idea to make like a horizontal team of like just annotators. So we have that all kind of in one place and we can quickly refer. Um, but we should we should look up Sarah also because, yeah, that she her team could be interesting. All right, sounds good. So yeah, maybe let, let's establish a, a separate channel for annotators for the annotators team and have some coordinator that can juggle resources and dedicate those to different teams in need. Um, let's jump to a second team. Um, Task Geo, Daniel. Yes, hi everyone. So uh, we're working hard to finish extracting the data set to provide to data visualization. We're using very advanced uh, parallel computing um, technology by which I mean I'm running part of the code, Brandon is, run is running another part, <laughs> and Alex is running a third part. High tech. And yes, it's absolutely amazing. Um, so hopefully we should have all the data uh, by the end of today. Problem is, one of the steps is a call to an API and uh, you have, you know, quite a, lo a lot of overhead um, time, time consumption there. Um, so I've been running it uh, all evening yesterday and all day today. And uh, yeah, we're getting there. Um, so when that will be done, there will still be a little bit of stuff to to add into the data set but uh, we'll be able to provide it to database quite quickly and hopefully everything is fine and we don't have like uh, some towns in Italy in the middle of the Pacific Ocean or something and um, we also have received from from Dan a data set of uh, clinical trials and uh, I have to see if a few people in my team uh, can take care of extracting the important geographical information from there and also provide it to DataViz. Um, the idea there is it's clinical trials on certain drugs and uh, it would allow researchers and uh, medical professionals and so on to check uh, maybe where certain drugs are more used or more studies with respect to other locations. And yeah, I would say that's, uh, that's what we are doing currently. Sounds great. And uh, hopefully we'll be done with at least one part of these by tomorrow. Sounds great. All right, next team, transmission, Christine. Hi everyone. Um, so we've also worked really, really hard on um, putting the notebook together. Uh, yeah, it's in, in, in good, good shape. We just just realized how, how many different pieces that need to be put together. Um, and I think it's a good idea that Arthur mentioned that we can actually link to another notebook that's more like dealing, that deals with more technical codes. And then we'll focus the main notebook on presenting the main findings. I think that would be a really nice approach. Uh, yeah, so we're still working to get all the data together and then so we can kind of present something uh, meaningful uh, as an output. So just a quick question, do we have to um, submit our notebook to like to our team as a whole, like when, is there like a time that we should actually put uh, just, you know. Like agree that it's final or something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what's the time for April 16th? Like uh, the end of the day, right? Uh, I think it is I... end of the day. So maybe let's do the daily call uh, on 16th as, as that final touch point. Right, okay. Yeah, so we'll basically have a, a little bit time after the daily call and just go through it. Okay, 11.59 p.m. All right. Yeah, so we'll have plenty of time if we need to quickly fix some things. 
and yeah let's let's plan on that okay sounds good all right sounds great um the next team uh vaccines dan sosa uh hey everybody so vaccines the therapeutics team continues just polishing our notebook uh, we made some great updates to the visualization so it's even a bit cleaner now um, which is awesome yeah we're seeing if we can get an ambitious crossover event with uh, the geo team so we're we're doing our we're doing uh, what we can and we'll see if, if those guys are you know able to do that quickly but there's a lot of things on everyone's plates already so if we can get to it great if not i mean we have our original submission so uh we'll see what we can do besides that yeah we're just starting to think about round two getting set up for that um yesterday prachi came on board and she's going to help me with project management so i'm super excited to work with her and think about you know making more work uh scoping the work properly figuring out organizational stuff and then we'll we'll be able to take a lot more people and get uh get more people started with different projects in vnt in the next round so that's going to be awesome uh yeah things are good no blockers just you know grinding until the deadline all right sounds great and the last team uh data sets do we have brendan or uh mike on the call today we have brendan uh brendan can you hey sorry i was having issues unmuting and turning on my video <laughs> uh what's up so uh, as far as data sets is concerned, um, things are becoming less and less chaotic, which is really nice. Um, Mike is helping me organize um, links to different data sets. We have somebody else who is chasing uh, uh, different task groups and getting all that data put into one place. Um, most of the pre-processed text uh, is now on the Google uh, bucket, um, but the, the issue now with the Kaggle submission is that we're not really sure uh, how to deal with the uh, large files, like the vector files are like 32 gigabytes or something and they just won't fit on Kaggle. Um, so if anybody has any ideas about that. I think the best way, like let's assume that if there is a team that needs that giant data set or something and the files and they absolutely can or don't have time to reduce that, let's host it on Google Colab and then link to it. So... Yep yeah as, as a way to do that again like we're very flexible in terms of kaggle submission uh guidelines and we talked to anthony the ceo of kaggle for the on this topic he told us that whatever you guys need to produce meaningful results and useful representation of it okay um at least for kaggle i don't think that many people are going to use the vectors i don't think that they're super useful for most of the tasks um it's more um, more for like search engine stuff and people who want to do like machine learning classification tasks, um, which I, I just wanted to plug one of the project that I'm working on with five other people where we're keeping the team small, but it's like an actual search engine uh, based on uh, TFIDF plus the, uh, the vector search. So um, that's not really a Kaggle submission thing, but we're hoping that it's going to be really useful to people in round two. So uh, yeah. It, on data sets, everything's going okay. Uh, just working stuff out with Mike and a couple other people. So. Sounds great. And there is, um, here's a quick note. There is a guy that joined us yesterday that uh, basically has 10 years of experience uh, building the data set infrastructures for U European uh, Union and uh, for Harvard and other uh, like crazy initiatives. Who is this guy? Uh, Slava Tihanov. Uh, he was contributing to FAIR, that findable, accessible, reusable, and interoperable uh, system. And I had a call with him today. Anton had a call with him yesterday. And he's the best person ever to help us establish the actual data set infrastructure and make it useful for external world. Because right now we kind of made it useful for our purposes, but we need to go beyond that. So hopefully uh, he'll jump in with some guidance on how he did it for um, multi, like uh, multicultural teams, global co collaborations in terms of FAIR and the European Union. And he seems to see all of the potential, you know, fails and things that we are only about to discover. So again, very exciting that we're getting people of, of such scale and in, into our group. 
that's great. Uh, if you could give him my contact information or, or put us together somehow. Yeah, he's still overwhelmed. And as anyone who joins our Slack, but, uh, you know, we're funneling him into a very specific uh, kind of team and, and purpose. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just wanted to update on two other things on data sets that I sort of forgot about. So one is that we should, as of round two, be having a translated paper. So anything that's not in English should be translated and uh, processed so that people can use that data. And secondly uh, was, oh God, I forgot, translation and, uh, oh right, uh, so the metadata file, which is incredibly difficult to use, um, but I have two people on it and we may be able to have like a much nicer, cleaner data set by, by round two, but it's probably not gonna happen before tomorrow, so. All right, sounds great. And we still have about a couple of minutes for Q&A for general questions from any of the members or newcomers that are confused or lost or need help with anything. So this is your time, please speak up. Hey, uh, Brandon, I have a question for you about uh, just kind of protocols for uh, onboarding new corpuses for, uh, uh, for machine learning. I, uh, where would be the right place to put those kinds of, uh, of data so that people can use them and know where they are? Uh, do you mean links or, or the actual data itself? The actual data itself. So well, we have or, or links either way. I mean, I could do it either way. So we're trying to create this infrastructure that is uh, hosted using the Google credits that Google provided to us. So we have Google Cloud buckets that we're trying to you know, funnel things to. Uh, it's still in progress. I would recommend reaching out to Brendan and Anton uh, because Brendan obviously knows like the data set part of it and Anton is managing the actual Google Cloud piece. So if you can uh, message them both and figure that out, that would be great. Sounds good, thank you. If it's links to data sets, you can put that in the Trello board uh, called data sets uh, and just uh, give a short description of what the data set is. Uh, there's a lot, I've made a lot of different columns for different types of data sets, so wherever it fits. All right, I'll check that out right now. All right, anyone else? Any questions? Yes, uh, if I may. Sure, go ahead. Um, yeah, the thing that we discussed already a bit in our NLP task force, namely, uh, we need a bit, maybe it's just our perspective, but we need a bit more um, structure because Arthur, you use the word like organic to describe our way of working and I think it, it describes quite well how it's, uh, how it's uh, being done, but uh, sometimes uh, we have guys uh, being um, a bit um, under engaged, complaining about it. That there are some, and some people are over engaged, like having ten thousand, like Maya, for instance, having ten thousand different things to do. And of course, it's a part of business, so to say. Uh, it's 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 nature. Uh, but still, I think we can uh, develop a kind of a ticket system or a kind of a submission uh, form where everyone would uh, declare uh, his or her availability time and let's say expertise so that we can structure better uh, certain sub parts of, of the whole project beyond the Kaggle because of course it's not, uh, we are not now talking about uh, Kaggle itself but more about a kind of long-term uh, project. 100% agree. This conversation is in progress in the communication channel, mainly internal communications, because we are already using this manually. Like for example, whenever we need help with R, we go to the central database, we find people with R that have time to help, we message them and they immediately re-engage. Or whenever we need people with birth experience, we message them. So it's just a question of figuring out that structure, maybe one web page on the website where you immediately see you know, people buy you know, keywords or stuff like that. I think we're gonna reach it pretty soon. The magic is that we already have all of this data. It's just we need the inter interface to interact with it efficiently. Yep. Thanks. Hello. Go ahead. Hello. Yep, we can it's hear you. It's Ibeson, I have a uh, an observation, an issue. Uh, I think we really need to 
to have uh, initiatives uh, in order to to manage this whole thing, you know, as uh, as someone who is uh, involved in in project management, I I, I feel that uh, things are are not uh, sufficiently uh, structured or defined, and uh, I believe we must have a initiative to deal with this, this issue. That's yep. it. Fully agree. And I think all of us need that immediate uh, kind of request for a structure. And that's pretty much what we have been doing for the past two weeks, just like creating structure and structure and iterating very quickly what structure sticks. Like if it doesn't stick, we throw it out. If it works, we keep it. And the nature of this, you know, marathon is the fact that we are not able to commit to the structure long term in terms of building out some sophisticated systems. And I think we're, we're going to reach it by the second submission. So basically, we're going to hit this April 16th deadline and we'll have some more time to just relax, think clearly and think more about the uh, potential solutions to this problem. Hey everyone, I, I had something I may be able to do to help with a skills inventory. Um, are you able to hear me? Yep. Okay, great. Um, so in my um, day job, I actually manage the skills inventory for a software as a service platform that extracts skills from job descriptions and from online wow. profiles. So um, if Please everybody, act, yeah, like if, if everybody actually joined the LinkedIn page connected to Corona Y, I could very easily actually do the skill extraction from everybody's existing profile. That's amazing. We have most of the LinkedIn's filled in. So please join communication, communications channel and let's uh, sync on that. Okay, hey, awesome. Andrea, this is, yeah. this is uh, Shannon. Um, so there are a couple of us who have been sort of in and out of this task. I have, but not greatly. And then I think Frangis also on the communications team has been doing some stuff. So if you can um, align with whatever has already been done, which I think is minimal, then we can definitely get this into shape. Okay, we also yeah. have a, a, kind of like we have a bouncing around and yeah, I've been bouncing around and helping in a lot of different places, but this is one that like would actually align pretty well with something I already have is the skill extractor. Andrea, Excellent. Sorry, this is Prachi. I would love to help you out with this. Uh, this is something really interesting and I would love to learn more about it. So if you need an extra hands, let me know. Okay, great. Welcome You're to, our new welcome. VT manager, right? Yeah, yeah, new, new, new okay. project excellent. pretty damn new. Brand new, yeah. <laughs> okay, excellent. Yes. But, but uh, yeah, I'll ping you separately so we can get connected on this as well. Sounds good. Thanks. Amazing. And as, as I was talking before, it, it kind of evolves organically, right? And we've talked about the same thing uh, like a week ago and two weeks ago when we were starting to do this manually. Every but, day. Yes. <laughs> we talk but, about this every day in one form or another. And now it finally emerged. Like who would knew that we would find a person that has this as a primary skill set, does this and even has tools to do this. It's absolutely beautiful. Like it's amazing. So yeah, let's keep up the good work and uh, manifest our needs to the universe and it so far it seems to be fulfilling the the needs in in terms of people that come from various uh, backgrounds various disciplines and and help us all right i'm gonna wrap it up i'm gonna be uploading the video shortly and yeah thank you everyone stay healthy and let's just push through this uh, crazy deadline and then we're gonna have a uh, pretty pretty relaxed week i would say thanks right. guys thanks thanks bye. everyone thanks, thanks all bye, thank you. thanks bye yeah. bye